Companies are looking uh, for solutions to the supply chain slowdown, and one uh, possible solution, uh, AI, AI technology, to target customers more efficiently. Joining us now is David Steinberg, Zeta Global CEO. Uh, the company starts its annual Zeta Live conference today, featuring discussions on uh, AI and the future of marketing. $51 billion last year, uh, David, in 2020. $641 billion by 2028. That 50 to 640, that's compound growth of 36.1 percent. That's faster than the deficit uh, that we're running uh, in Washington. It, about the same. Uh, actually, I, this is something we need to invest in, it seems like, uh, as uh, for what it can do and for how much money you could make in this business. Well, it's first of all, very little is running faster than deficit, Joe. <laughs> <Good> to, <laughs> that's to right. Uh, giving it a know, run. Exactly. I agree. The, the, the reason AI is getting the type of attention and investment it is, is because of the return on investment you get, there's very little that you can invest in that can give you better return, whether it's marketing, supply chain management, or other major issues that companies are dealing with. And what we're really seeing now is the single best way for companies to work through the supply chain issues are by using artificial intelligence to better manage their marketing. You know, how do you understand what products you actually have in stock, when you're going to have them in stock, and how to market those products versus, I think we've all been online, we've bought something, and by the time we go through the 15-minute process to purchase it, <laughs> it, it then says it's out of stock, or it tells you, even worse, you buy it, and it tells you you're going to get it after Christmas. So, you know, the ability to understand that type of stuff, and literally push to people products that you have that are comparable to what they might want, but the ability to guarantee them you're going to get those products in time for Christmas is going to be a big game changer for companies. I mean, we know the data is there. We know everybody knows what we want. I, if I, let me see what happened to me. So let's say I need a toilet bowl brush, you know, and I go, where can I buy okay. one of those? So, so I look for that. And, and next thing you know, every toilet brush maker in the country is, is hitting my, it's like, whoa, how did that happen? <laughs> and so why not? If you're looking for it, but you can't get that one, why shouldn't AI allow whomever, Amazon or someone, to get you one It's just as good? It, it, it absolutely can. It's just a question of the implementation, right? Right now, most companies, as they've grown, have looked at, you know, their company in silos, right? So you have one silo, which is manufacturing, another, which is supply chain, another is inventory management. And I think as we've all found out over the last year and a half, you know, most companies just in time inventory management is not going to work in the current environment. Uh, and then you run into container issues and all those problems. And then on the other side of the house, you have the chief marketing officer who's simply pushing whatever they think is hottest. Until we fully integrate those two things, which is what we're doing right now at Zeta, we're importing inventory management into the marketing and the ability to tell people, you know, you might have thought you wanted that toilet brush, but here are three toilet brushes that are just as good. And quite frankly, we can get these to you really quickly. You know what, David, I want to. I can't invest, but if I could, I want to invest in sensors because we, we watch what's with FedEx now. You can order something and you can know exactly where it is. So why don't we do that with everything? I think it could be cheap and you'd know exactly where any of the bottlenecks are in the supply chain from from manufacturer all the way to, to ending up on your on your doorstep. And then you can go back and, and adjust where wherever the, the problems are. That's the future. 100%, Joe. I, I mean, couldn't agree more. We believe that the evolution of all of this is sort of converging with multiple technologies that people see as disparate today. So, you know, sensors where companies can track their product off the factory floor onto the pallet, into the container, coming over to the United States, all the way through their supply chain to the customer's house. You'll have other sensors in your home that are going to tell the company, with your permission, of course, that you're running low on stuff and they'll make recommendations on what you need. And simultaneously, this is going to link into some of the low orbit satellite systems that 
guys like Elon Musk and, and Joe Bezos are putting up right now. Uh, and those satellite systems are gonna have the ability to read those sensors everywhere. So it's, it's really gonna change the game. Once that plugs into marketing, think about the possibilities, right? You'll, you'll be able to understand what people want, sort of about when or just before they want it. Uh, and you'll be able to know how quickly that product will unload. So you might be able to start marketing products when the ship is a day or two out of the port knowing that it's going to hit the port and you'll be able to get it to the person within 48 hours of the order. Well, we ought to get something out of AI before, you know, before Skynet, before we're no, all no. like absolute slaves to, to the machines and, you know, hiding and, you know, there's, you know, hunter killers flying around and all that stuff. So in the meantime, we should get something out of it. And I think we that's might what as well about. get some marketing out of it. Joe, yeah, before, might as well get something out of it before they take over. Exactly. Event. I wanted originally to call our AI platform Skynet, and my engineers for some reason <laughs> no, wouldn't let me. No, no. They, they thought Jesus. that wouldn't translate well into, uh, you see into the our world? Did, it was It was terrible. Did, did you see yeah, what No, we called it Alfred. It was, a, I'm just sort of joking, but it was at a very late night brainstorming meeting. I was like, we should just call it Skynet. And they were like, not All a good we idea. We got to go. We got to go. We got, we got Pfizer news. We, uh, but we digress. Thanks, Thanks David. We'll see you. 